welcome to the view where we center our news around you. Hey students, as we wrap up week 14 of school, we hope that you're enjoying this warm fall weather. In this week's episode of The View, we have announcements, weather, sports, teacher gratitude, and a look at what's happening in our Bear Nation today. The View starts now. Friday, November 13th. I'm Sophia and I'll be bringing you the announcements today. Key Club along with DECA, FBLA, and SkillsUSA are participating in a drive to collect items for the Wellroot Thanksgiving Meal Box program. This program has a goal of creating 35 boxes for teens transitioning out of foster care and into their new adult home. We will be collecting the items listed on the flyer through November 18th. We will have two bins where you can drop off items if you're interested in contributing. One will be located in the attendance office and the other will be outside under the awning near the bus lane for additional students to drop off items. If you would like to donate a $20 gift card for Publix, Kroger, Walmart, etc., please place it in an envelope and drop it by a Key Club advisor. Students, are you interested in doing Winter Guard this year? Well, you are in luck. There will be a camp meeting after school today at 4 to 6 p.m. All students are welcome to join. Students make sure to bring a water bottle, mask, and wear stretchy clothing. For more information about signing up, follow mvhs.color underscore guard on Instagram. The Photography Club will have their monthly meeting Thursday, November 19th at 4 p.m. on Zoom. Come check them out and see what they have planned for the year. It is not too late to join. Veterans Day was this past Wednesday. Thank you to all of our teachers who are veterans. Over the past 15 years, hundreds of studies have linked gratitude to increased happiness, stronger relationships, and improved physical health. In recent years, studies on gratitude among youth suggest that it fosters more positive emotions and better attitudes towards school. Our video classes had a chance to create a gratitude video for our teachers. Let's take a look at another gratitude video. I am thankful for all of the teachers who've taught me in this school. However, I have to give a special shout out to Dr. Claymore, my Latin teacher. She supported me and everyone else through hard times and she always makes sure that we are striving for success. Being in a Latin class, even if it's through Zoom and through social distancing, is a fun refresher from all my other classes that restores my motivation and helps me work on all of the other things I have to do for school. So thank you. The deadline for senior ads has been extended. All ads are due by December 1st. Yes. Ads are created on yearbookordercenter.com using school code 10600. Finally, we would like you to help us gather content for the yearbook. You can submit photos and content for the yearbook using this link. If you have any questions about the yearbook, please contact Emily Jennings at emily.jennings at gcpsk12.org. Last week, the elections took place and the U.S. turned out the most voters in made history. Georgia turned blue and will have a hand count for the presidential election only. It has been reported that currently there is a 14,000 difference between the two presidential candidates. According to media sources, Joe Biden has been named the presidential elect. Next week, we will have performance finals. All students should have the opportunity to complete the exams either at home or during class time. Students will have the entire day for the completion of performance finals on the assigned days. Bear Necessities has an online store where you can order holiday gifts this season. Visit this link to see the great Mountain View apparel products that are offered to you just in time to do some Christmas shopping. All orders must be placed by Friday, November 20th, 2020. 
Orders will be shipped in approximately 10 business days after the deadline. All customers will be contacted to let you know when the product has arrived and been delivered to you. Yes. Let's go to Eric for a look at our weather. Thanks, Sophia. I'm Eric and I'll be bringing you the weather today. Today's highest will be 73 degrees with the lowest of being 46 degrees. Moving towards our weekend, Saturday will be clear skies with 66 degrees as the highest and 52 degrees as the lowest. Towards the end of our weekend, Sunday will be 70 degrees as the highest and 43 degrees as the lowest with cloudy skies. That concludes the weather for this week. Remember to stay safe and social distance. Now back to Sophia with Joke of the Week. Thanks, Eric. With all that is going on in the world, we must find the time to smile. This week's joke is, why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Well, Bears, that wraps up the announcements, news, and weather updates for this week. Let's go to Morgan for sports updates. Welcome back to this week's sports. I'm Morgan and I'll be bringing you the schedules, scores, and updates for our fall and winter sports. Basketball season has started. Our varsity boys and girls played a scrimmage game on Wednesday against Berkmar. The girls won with a score of 66-21. Congratulations, Bears. Thank you to everyone who came out and get supported our Bears. Our flag football team played against Collins Hill and Mill Creek earlier this week. Thank you to everyone who came and shit on our Bears. Their next game is against Mill Creek and Lanier on Tuesday at 6 and 7 p.m. at Mill Creek High School. So drive out to cheer on our Bears. Swim and Dive have a meet tonight, Friday the 13th at West Gwinnett Aquatic Center. The meet starts at 7 p.m. and you won't want to miss it. So drive out and show some support to our swimmers. In football news, we played against Collins Hill last week. Thank you to everyone who came out and showed some support to our Bears. Our next game is tonight, Friday the 13th, at Peachtree Ridge against Peachtree Ridge. You won't want to miss it, so drive out to show some support. And that concludes our sports updates this week. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next week. Now back to Sophia. Thanks, Morgan. Do you have news you wanted to have featured on The View TV? You can now submit announcements to be featured on The View. Scan this QR code to access the form. Well, there, that concludes this week's episode of The View. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Instagram and Twitter page at MTNViewHSTV for any updates throughout the week. Thanks for watching and tune in again next week for more news. Until then, as you go about your day, always remember, life is like a stage and someone is always watching. Stay excellent, Mountain View.